Hi. Today we're going to talk about our upcoming first vocabulary unit. We're going to be doing vocabulary all throughout the year, um, but we have certain units that I would like you to accomplish each quarter. So, here's how we're going to do things. Now you might have heard of the term common core. It's the new set of standards that our state is using. Along with those standards, there are some suggested words that you should know, that everybody should know by the time you leave eighth grade. So, the first vocabulary that we'll be dealing with is common core vocabulary. These words are high frequency words that you've probably have heard of at some point in your life, but we need to know these. So, the first thing that we're going to do is this quarter, we're going to be taking uh, three common core vocabulary units. Then, if you progress further than that, uh, we have some other options for you. But first, let's talk about the common core vocabulary. What you're going to do for the first vocabulary unit is you're going to see if you can test out of it. Here are 20 words. Um, some of them you may know. If you so happen to know all of the words, or at least 18 out of the 20 words, you are qualified to skip this unit. Then you will go on to the second common core unit and the third common core unit. If you can progress through all of those, then you can do a different kind of vocabulary. However, first you take the pretest, see how well you do as a benchmark, then you go and study the vocabulary words so you can retake this test and get a hundred on it. Now, I don't mean to be a pessimist, but if you do not get 18 out of 20 on the pretest, you gotta do the work to know these words. That's where this packet comes in. Basically, it has a story that uses the vocabulary words and some exercises for you to really understand these words and get them into your head. Additionally, on Quizlet, there are all the flashcards for that unit sets of words. Definitions, pictures, if you start studying those right away, that'll definitely help you absorb that knowledge. However, studying the flashcards is not necessary. However, if you do not pass the pretest, completing this packet is necessary before I will let you do the final test. Now I have to see how it goes, but typically we'll be spending three days in a row of class time working on vocabulary. Each student can go at their own pace. So if you are nailing these pretests and testing out, you can advance to the next units. However, if you have not nailed the pretest and you need to do some of the worksheets, again, you work at your own pace. As long as the three common core units have been completed by the end of this quarter, you will meet the standard for vocabulary. All, that, all the rest is icing on the cake. So let's say you're a super smarty, you've done the common core vocabulary and you're ready to advance to the next level. Have no fear, we have additional vocabulary words for you in this other vocabulary program called Rev It Up. It has the same format where each word list has a story associated with it and some exercises. Also, of course, there is a pretest. Theoretically, you could even pretest out of all these Rev It Up units. Now, there's four Rev It Up units for quarter one. Um, if you already finished the common core units, you do the Rev It Up units, and you will be exceeding the standard. Now, if you're like a super vocabulary genius, and you've done the Common Core units, and you've done the Rev It Up units, you get to play computer games. Specifically, one computer game. Um, and yes, you guessed it, it's a vocabulary building video game. But it's cool. I've played it, I still play it, um, I'm pretty cool at it. There is a separate video showing you, walking you through this video game. Um, so again, if you are like really exceeding the standard, you've done the Common Core, you've done the Rev It Up, um, watch the video on the video game to kind of give you an overview of how to play it. It's all on the iPads, it'll be cool. So that about sums it up for uh, the vocabulary unit. Um, I hope you took some notes, of course. Come in with any questions on how this unit progresses. 
Um, again, we generally do this for three days in a row. So once you've seen this, you will now be prepared for the next three days where we will be working on our vocabulary. All right, come in with questions and we'll see you tomorrow.